Welcome back to PEF TV, the official channel for the 26th Black Knights Film Festival. Here with another session of uh, Meet the Filmmakers. I am your host uh, Andrei Liimets and with me I have the director of Kalev, Ove Musting. Welcome Ove. Hello. So uh, Kalev is being shown as part of the Baltic uh, film competition. It uh, tells the story of uh, the famous Estonian basketball team Kalev who became legends uh, here in Estonia for winning the uh, final Soviet Union uh, championship uh, title. But they did it uh, in uh, uh, contentious uh, uh, conditions because uh, some uh, from Estonia also uh, thought that uh, they were kind of uh, betrayers of Estonian fight for independence. So every Estonian knows this uh, story quite uh, well. But what about the uh, foreign viewers? What do you think they should know about the, the context and the uh, events behind the, this, this film? <laughs> I haven't thought about it because... Uh... First, uh, when we decided to do this uh, film, we we knew that this this never be a global because this is for uh, only we understand here the the story, the background, and uh, only we who lives uh, and with our uh, Baltic neighbors who live uh, next to Russia, we we know exactly what was the stake and uh, all the conditions. So. Uh, so yeah, lately I, I I've been forced to think about it, what it might might uh, uh, might be for the foreigners or how they might read it. It's it's still hard to say because uh, it's it's still hard to say. <laughs> why is this story important for you uh, personally, and why what why, why was this story the one that you wanted to tell in your uh, debut uh, feature? Uh, first of all, uh, when uh, producers told me about the idea to make a story about this uh, event, I was stunned immediately. I didn't understand why n no one uh, didn't pick up it uh, earlier, because it's, uh, it's a so great story and everybody knows that. And uh, I immediately said, yes, sure. I was, uh, I was ready to jump on a, on a project. I, 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 in that moment, I didn't have a, a, any even ideas how to solve it, uh, but uh, it was so personal to me because uh, I remember 1991, I was uh, only 14 years old. I remember the events uh, through the television. I wasn't on the, on a hall where it happens, uh, but I remember the January 1991 uh, when uh, uh, Russian tanks uh, uh, invaded uh, uh, Vilnius. And I was in uh, in a school in a geography class, and I remember those goosebumps and uh, the what we what we spoke with uh, all the classmates that uh, that's it, the war is coming, and um, that was quite personal. And and after all, uh, after uh, Kalev won, uh, I don't remember the moment, but my father told me later that he, he was crying because uh, he it meant uh, so much to him. So this film has a historical layer, then there's the political layer, it's a sports drama, but it's also a, a sort of a biography of these players as uh, these concrete human beings in this uh, political context. So what was the layer or the theme that kind of interested you the most? Uh, I guess the most is maybe the political because uh, or uh, or how hard it was f uh, for the for the team for the coaches uh, to make the right decision. What uh, what happened? Uh, what might happen if they lose the competition? So uh, that was something a producer asked uh, lately, and we never thought about it. And I think, uh, or my answer is that I think uh, Salomets, uh, the, the coach, he 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 couldn't ask it for, from himself. It wasn't even the, even on the table because the, the only answer was to win because otherwise it I don't know <laughs> so and and maybe it's not only political yeah but uh, what uh, the really hard decisions they they had to make in such a such a such a difficult times yeah. 
but it it also uh, has to work as a sports film. There are quite a lot of basketball scenes, and uh, here I have to stress the budget, which which was a little over two million euros, I think, which is. Uh, um, it's okay for an indie film, but it's very low for a sports film or such a huge film. So did you feel any budgetary constraints while making it? Uh, I was thinking that if 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 same movie was made in in uh, States or I think that maybe the budget would be, I don't know, 70 or 80 million at least. But uh, here we, we must be wise and clever. We must do much more pre-production not I want to say that they don't do a production a pre-production that that much but uh, uh, I think it somehow for me it's the same battle uh, like uh, for the Kalev team that uh, uh, you have what you have so are you forcing yourself to find the ways or uh, you, you're not gonna make it and to make the basketball scenes feel real, you also had to teach all the actors to play basketball. Yeah. How did you achieve uh, that? Yeah, it was it was quite uh, uh, difficult, but we already we made casting, and there we asked from everyone uh, what is the background, are they uh, willing to 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 study, and that was the the really first really strong question, and uh, and. And uh, for me, it was a difficult choice, but I, I felt that it's uh, better to pick the actors and uh, taught them uh, to play than, uh, than the, to pick the professional basketball players. Because, of course, they, they will be, they, they are 100% better on, on a court or playing the ball. But uh, I think that actor is more difficult instrument. They... They, they were thought in school adapting and that's what they do all the time. And I, I hoped that if they <laughs> train hard, they, they can fool even the sport, sportsmen. In Kalev, you balance uh, sports and politics. During this festival, we have the Football World Cup starting, uh, which has been very, very contentious and divisive due to the human rights issues in uh, Qatar and so on. Do you think sports and politics can be uh, separated? To be honest, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, po <laughs> politicians, they, 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 they trying to tell it's it's a separate things, but uh, we see all the time how they are so tied up, and uh, it's uh, it's. I think it's never gonna be. That's true. So um, the Kalev has also been uh, put up as the Estonian uh, nominee for the um, uh, Oscar this mm -hmm. year for the best international film. So what do you think of its chances there? Uh, I've seen so many competitions in my life, so everything is possible and anything can happen. But uh, you never know. I. I'm I'm sure that uh, of course as a filmmaker I believe my 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 movie and I think it's uh, I'm I'm really happy with that and uh, I think there's nothing to shame, but of course we have uh, really 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 big names uh, there competing and uh, and it's really hard to tell I I think it's a lottery. I think for a debut feature, it's already done very well. The Oscar nomination, uh, it's become one of the most seen films in Estonian box office for Estonian films. Uh, so what's next for you, Ove? Uh, there, are, there are many, many things or ongoing projects. Uh, I'm working on uh, a great series and uh, now developing my new feature film which is uh, which called uh, we don't even have in in english the, the name but it might call like big slaughter so it's about uh, it's a christmas movie it's a very very dark comedy about uh, about uh, <laughs> how to tell about <laughs> uh, the events happening in uh, uh, near uh, past maybe in 2015 or something uh, one country, a small village, uh, during the Christmas, they 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 have news that uh, 
big disease. Yeah, I don't know even it's what is it in English. Uh, the di- di- disease is attack their uh, village and yeah. and all the animals must be must be killed. So it's very different from Kalev. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> But thank you very much, uh, Ove, and thank you for the film. And as said before, Kalev is being screened here at the Black Knights Festival as part of the Baltic uh, film competition. So do definitely check it out. It is uh, very much worth uh, seeing. And uh, see you around uh, here at PEF TV for the next uh, sessions of uh, Meet the Filmmakers. Thank you for watching.